Hello, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Salis Mustache here, and today I'm gonna show you guys the strongest critical draw greatsword build. It's finally ready. So, for this build right here, we're gonna be using the Wyvern Ignition Impact, which is the strongest roll attack greatsword in the entire game. So, let me show you guys its features. The Wyvern Ignition Impact comes with a total attack of 1032 with white sharpness, minus 15% affinity, and 510 hidden fire element, which will let us use the Elementless Jewel to further increase its attack power by 10%. Now it also has two level 1 Jewel slots and two augmentation slots, which in this case we're going to be using the Health Regen Augment, which will greatly increase our uh, survivability with this build, and one Attack Increase Augment. Now for the other pieces we're using the Draken Armor Ofa. The Damascus Mayo Beta, the Draken Vibrisis Alpha, the Draken Coil Alpha, the Draken Grievous Alpha, and the Draw Charm 2. Now, with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a total attack of 1320 with white sharpness and 100% affinity for draw attacks, which is basically all that we're gonna use in this build right here. So, now let me show you guys all the skills that we have in this build right here. So we have Elemental Airborne, which you will not be using in this build. Master's Touch, which will prevent your weapon from losing sharpness during critical hits. And as every single attack we're going to use is a critical hit, no matter where you hit in the monster, we will never be actually losing our sharpness level, so you don't have to bother sharpening your weapon. We have Attack Boost Level 6, that will increase your attack power by 18 points in your affinity by 5%. Critical Eye Level 4, that increase your affinity by 15%. Critical Boost Level 3 that increases the damage dealt by critical hits to 40%. Focus Level 3 that, that reduces charge times by 15%. Critical Draw Level 3 that increases your affinity by 100% as long as it's a draw attack, which is basically all we're gonna use. Quick Sheath Level 3 that greatly increases sheathing speed. A power prolonger will not be using in this build, but it comes with, with the Draken Coil Alpha. Airborne level 1 that increases the jumping attack power by 10%, which is absolutely good if you're planning to use the, the jump attacks for the greatsword, which are really, really strong. Peak performance level 1 that increases your raw attack by 5 points, as long as your health is full, which is actually pretty good, uh, along with the health regen augment in the weapon. And an elemental boost level 1 that increases the base attack for non-elemental weapons by 10%. So, now let me show you guys all the decorations that we're using in this setup right here. Okay, so here we have 3 Attack Jewels 1 that increase our Attack Boost skill. 1 Flawless Jewel 2 that increase our Peak Performance skill. 3 Sheath Jewels 1 that increase our Quick Sheath skill. 1 Elementless Jewel 2 that increase the Non-Elemental Boost skill. 1 Critical Jewel 2 that increase the Critical Boost skill. 1 Draw Jewel 2 that increases the Critical Draw skill. And 1 Charger Jewel 2 that increases the Focus skill. Okay, so right now I might be thinking, holy crap, 3 Attack Jewels, I can't make this build. No, that's not true actually. You don't, re you don't really need the, uh, the Attack Jewels at all. You can actually switch them for Vitality Jewel so you can actually have 50, uh, 50 points of health. Uh, you can change them for Resistor Jewels so you can actually have uh, blight resistance level 3 and nullify all elemental blight. Uh, you can change those for uh, protection jewels, so I can actually have divine blast in level 3, which will reduce damage taken while active by 50%, which is really good. And you can change them for miasma jewels, so you can actually have fluvial resistance level 3 uh, and fight for all has act without any problem. So it's all up to you, you don't really have to. You don't really need the attack jewels, you can see without them, we still have 100% affinity due to the critical draw level 3. And all that's gonna happen if you don't have the attack jewels is that your total attack will drop from 1320 to 1277, which is not that big deal. So it's pretty, up, uh, it's pretty much up to you, you can use whatever jewel you want. So okay guys, that's pretty much it, I hope you guys enjoyed. So now I'm gonna show you guys a small uh, demonstration here in the training arena. So you can actually see how much damage each attack of this build actually do without any boosts. And right after, I'm gonna show you guys a fight versus a Nether Dragon, so you can actually see uh, the true power of this build right here. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and check this out.
Okay guys, so you can see we were able to hit up to 201 with the draw attack, up to 440 with the charged slash level 1, and up to 481 with the charged uh, air slash attack. So this build is incredibly powerful, you can see the attacks are pretty fast. We attack it about like 15 times and you can see our sharpness level is intact at white. So it will never lose sharpness level no matter what. You can see here, it doesn't matter if you hit a weak spot on the monster, if you don't, as long as you hit the monster, it will never, ever lose sharpness. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button, and if you want to see more builds like that in the Monster Hunter world, make sure you subscribe to this channel. So that's pretty much it guys, now I'm going to show you guys a small fight with, a t uh, with an Elder Dragon, so you can actually see the true power of this build in an actual fight. So, thank you for watching, guys, and until the next episode, see you!